hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be sharing with you guys what i got from ross and marshall's i also have some other random products as well that i got um in the mail or whatever so yeah but anyways i just want to show you guys what i got from ross and marshall's i'm ready to put this stuff away so yeah let's get into it i'm gonna start off with ross the first thing that i got is this acrylic organizer i found this one and i love to find organizers that have like compartments in them or like big compartments that i can fit a lot of stuff in so this is from the brand called i design and this was $9.99 so the next thing that i got are glasses so i have heard from two youtubers that they use these when they're editing um i'm always in my phone and now that i have a laptop now i'm always on my laptop so and my eyeballs are not good like um listen when i tell you my eyeballs is not good especially at night so i saw these at ross for $4.99 this is from a brand called Blue Block. So for people who spend a lot of time in front of LED screens, computers, smartphones, tablets, and video games. So I heard people purchase theirs off of Amazon and I just kept forgetting. And then I saw these in Ross. I was like, let me just pick these up. That's the biggest kind that I can get. So like the lens look like it's a yellow tint. Oh, and it comes with like a pouch which is super cute. They kind of feel like fake, like, you know, those 3D glasses that you get at like the IMAX theater. So these are the glasses right here. So you guys can see the yellow tint. So yeah, I'm interested to see um, how these work. I'm really interested. So the brand is called Blue Block and I found these over there by the, um, sunglass like the little display last thing that i got from ross was a cardigan so i found this cute little cheetah print cardigan at um ross it's one at target that i want to get but i think it's like 30 i don't want to pay 30 dollars for a cardigan i really don't so i saw this i really wanted it in a medium this was 13.99 at ross so yeah and it feels really good it feels nice and warm okay so we're gonna go ahead and start off with marshall's i got quite a few goodies in here so speaking of cheetah print i picked up this headband from this brand called spa solutions and i didn't need this but you know it was cheetah print so i just got it um i already know where headbands to be honest but you never know when you need one um but yeah it's it's supposed to be like a super soft headband so this was $3.99, really stretchy. Oh, that is cute and it is soft. So that'd be so cute to wear like on a spa day or whatever. Yeah, so I just grabbed this because like I said, it was cheetah print and it was really, really cute. Next thing that I got was a sponge from Urban Studios. This is their Flawless Blend Precision Blending Sponge and it was on clearance for $3. But the original price is $3.99, so that wasn't no clearance. Like, a clearance to me would have been a dollar. Okay. This is so comparable to Real Techniques. And I do have a few. I think I have, <laughs> I have a sponge by them already. I don't think I have the one that's flat. I think I have the one that's round at the bottom. I love their sponges. And what I love about them is they're very affordable they're not too hard they're not too firm they're just right if you see them in marshall's or tj maxx i recommend for you guys to pick it up did i need another sponge no you guys see all these sponges back there i did not need it i feel like for four dollars they're good like compared to um drugstore sponges i think they're really good like you don't have to go and buy a beauty blender all the time so if you like pink you like this. Next thing that I got is this brush from this brand called Spa Sisters. And I've seen this in um, Marshalls a few times. This is the Dome Blush brush. And I picked that up because I thought I could maybe use it for bronzer. This is the brush right here. So I think that would be really nice for like um, bronzer. And I picked up this uh, brush from the same line. This is the airbrush foundation brush. 
and it says it's 100% vegan. I'm gonna like this. See, I love me a nice foundation brush because if the brush is too big for my forehead, I, it just gets all in my hairline. Like you need the perfect foundation brush to just, you know, get in those crevices to get your forehead to even get over here. So I feel like this would be perfect for right here and like put in foundation all over and this feels really good it's not too dense and it's not too flimsy or anything so the next brush that i picked up is from real techniques and this is from their brush crush line and this is the blush brush oh my god okay <laughs> i do have brushes from this brand i do use them um this was 3.99 oh i'm sorry i didn't tell you how much the brushes from um spa sisters were um i don't think i did but i think they're both were 4.99 I, I think let me see okay so the blush brush was $3.99 and then the foundation brush was $4.99 Last brush that I got is from the brand Kinsey. This is their Pro Grip Handle Professional Powder Brush and I've been looking for like another big fluffy um, powder brush. I have one by Sonia Cashew, but I don't want to pay $20 again to get another one. It, that don't make sense. So I just want to find a, an affordable one. Um, you know, like when your brushes are dirty, you might want to use a fresh one. So I just picked this one up. I felt like this one looked it <clears throat> pretty decent. This was um, $3.99. Here's the brush. Yeah, it's not as fluffy as my Sonia Cashew, but it'll do like Oh yeah, it'll definitely do. Yeah, so I've been trying to look for another big fluffy one. I know I don't need no more. Y'all can see them clearly back there, but sis, I'm a sucker for makeup brushes. Like, I love me a nice makeup brush. But yeah, I could just powder my face. So I found this Milani Amore Shine Liquid Lip Cream. But so this is in the shade Tenderness. And it's the shade right here. It's really pretty. Ooh. I picked up some eyelashes. I didn't need any more. Okay, I didn't need any more. I just organized my eyelashes. I never seen these by the brand, The Cream Shop. I never seen these in Marshalls or TJ Maxx or anything like that. So I don't know how new these are, but these are their 3D um, foamy lashes. And I picked up three pairs. They had different kinds. I picked up the style wig. And these are like shorter in the inner corner and it like flares out at the end. And then I picked up the style Creme de la Creme. And these are short in the inside and they flare out at the end. But these are a little bit more like foamy and wispy. Um, are in the style Bougie. And I like these because um, these would be cute on like other people. Because they're not doing too much. They're not extremely long. Um, they're just right. They're just the right wispy. They're just the right length. So yeah, I really like these, but that's everything that I got from um, Ross and Marshalls. So I'm gonna show you guys some random stuff. So I do have the stuff in this Sephora box. Um, my address right here, that's why I'm covering it. Okay. So the first thing I have on top right here is from Morphe. I ordered some um, eyeshadow brushes and I got three. <laughs> I got three makeup bags. They was having a sale. I'm like, I need to get that. I thought it was, I thought it was a decent sale, and I use a discount, so like, why not? But anyways, they was having a sale on their like eyeshadow or like makeup brush bags or makeup brush collection bags or whatever. So I'm like, I'm gonna get this. Okay, I got the eye stunners six piece eye brush collection and you get a bag to go with it and these bags are super cute it does tell you on the back what brushes you get i told you guys before that i love when the brushes are in the plastic like that is my favorite so here are the brushes right here i know you guys oh my god i should have just took them out before i did this right you can't even like really see but you get like a blender brush in here an angle brush you get different kinds. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all can't even see. Next one that I got is the Get Things Started 8-Piece Brush Collection Plus Bag. So these brushes are mixed up. So you have like some face brushes in here. 
Um, let me see. I wanted to see this one. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. I don't know what that's for. I have to read the back. Oh, and it feels good. I like the handle. You have like a foundation brush in here. Um, there's some decent brushes. This is a fat one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like brushes like this, like dome brushes to like um, help you clean up around your eyebrows or like, um, you know, press in like concealer on your eyes. And then the last bag that I get is the Eye Obsess 12 piece eye brush um, bag. This is the bag right here. This is super, super cute. Um, you can put like your toiletries in each and every one of those. This one is my favorite bag just because I'm a big fan of eye brushes. I love eye brushes and I have tons of eye brushes and I can never have enough. So, hope you guys can see. I just ordered the palette and I ordered the lip gloss. I ordered the Beautiful Nightmare palette. Yeah, typical Milani pigmentation. Feels a little dry, but I could probably make it work. Also picked up a lip gloss from their Halloween collection. This is their Ludacris um, lip gloss in the color Let's Bone. <laughs> I did order some more stuff from Profusion. Um, I showed you guys that I ordered their um, liquid lipsticks. Actually, I have them right here. I ordered their um, liquid lipsticks from their Halloween collection. And I wanted their eyeshadow palettes from their Halloween collection. But I went back on there to see if they had these palettes in stock. And they did. And they didn't even notify me. And I put my email down to notify me. And they never did. Perfusion for like six or seven dollars and I wanted these so freaking bad I'm trying to get all the spooky makeup. I can but um these are supposed to be like um, Tombstones, so I thought that was so freaking cute. This one says here lies Hellcat And here are the colors Ugh, you gotta take the tape off of everything the names are on here, so Here lies Jester and this one is a colorful palette. And then this one is Here Lies Bangs. And this one is my favorite. It's a nice, warm fall palette. And then I went to the beauty supply store with my mom. My mom shops just like me, so y'all, that's where I get it from. But um, yeah, I went in there and I picked up a few things. Um, I just got some nail polish. They had some of their Halloween stuff out. So I just got this for decor. I picked up some Halloween nails that I can just wear all year round. I don't think I'm going to wear these for Halloween. I got some from Kiss that I want to wear. So, but just has skulls on here. This one has the blood dripping down. And then this has the skulls on here. Then I found this new brand. This is the Liquid Nail Luxury 3D Shiny Rhinestone Nailed Art Press-On Nails. Girl, look at these nails. These were only $6.99 and I found this brand at my beauty supply store and they had so many different colors. I could not choose which one that I wanted. So I'm definitely going to go back if they have some more in stock, which I I doubt. I just, I felt like they just put these out, but girl, nail shop who? I'm not going to no nail shop. I'm going to put these bad boys on. I did pick up this um, edge control scarf. I've been looking for this. I just didn't understand why the beauty supply store was taking forever to get these. But this is from the brand Magic Collection. And this is their lay laying down edge scarf. Let me know if you guys have heard of this. But this is an edge control scarf. So what you do is you lay down your edges and you put this around. But girl, low key, you really don't need this. You could just get you a damn scarf. You can get you um, some um, some wrap sheets. Y'all know what the things called. Girl, yeah, this is like a, a big old ribbon or something. Just lay it down on your edges. It's really flat. And um, they had different colors and different designs. Got two lip glosses. I did not need these, y'all, at all. Y'all know in my beauty supply store haul, I brought all those squeezy tools. But I didn't see these. These were new.
this is from the brand Annie. And I know they sell like hair tools and stuff. But I got the scent strawberry. And I got the scent bubblegum. I did order just one thing from Sephora. Um, I got the notification that the Artist Couture Plush Pout Lip Gloss was back. Um, I was going to say back in town. <laughs> back on the site this is the color uncensored andrea renee put me on to this color um i do have one in my purse and i ordered another one for a backup because this thing never comes back in stock which is really really weird <laughs> i got two like samples i got the dose and gabbana spray the Kat Von D Saints and Sinners perfume. I wanted to smell this because I saw it at TJ Maxx and I was about to purchase both of them because I really wanted for the packaging to be honest with you. But I think I like the white one better than the black one because the, the black one smells like white diamonds by Elizabeth Taylor and I can't stand that. I used to wear that when I was younger and I don't know why. Ugh. I'm sorry girl. If you if you use that mm -mm, they that stuff gets on my nerves. It smells like church, you know, like old church lady or something. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below, um, you know, if you got any of these items or whatever. If you do, how did you like them or whatever. And I will touch you guys in another video. Bye.